Assalamu alaikum everybody, here is Ahmed Nasser In this tutorial, uh, I'm just gonna implement a counter for you for your website So this is will be about visitor counter I'll, I'll try to make this shorter as possible And uh, so let's begin The first thing I need you to do is just make a file, a text file, an empty text file And you just make a file, call it IPs And make other file, call it counter okay uh, and make a PHP file and let's call it visitor counter the PHP okay and let me just maximize this a little bit uh, here we go here we go we got a PHP int for the file okay okay first thing we need to call the, the file to give the path for the file so we just define a variable counter file and just give it the counter text uh, counter file text uh, text file here so we got this text uh, text file as you can see and we got other uh, IB list file this will where we gonna store the IPs okay uh, so j basically what I mean by counter and IPs uh, is this and we have a, a, a list of IPs so you know when you go to a website uh, you go with your IP so uh, we gotta store your IP here if you come if your friend come to the website we gotta also store uh, his IP and so forth so as long as you go you have a lot of IPs so here we have a list of IPs because we have a lot of customers a lot of visitors to our website so that means we have uh, one two three four five six seven eight unique as you can see unique visitors so that means that we should have a, 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 a counter with eight values so uh, how we can do that we just make this file for how can we do that we just make a file for uh, counter file and just we and IPs file IPs file is just IPs list we just store the uh, l list of IPs here and the counter file is just basically we just make a counter so let me just okay we just make a counter for example if I have a uh, seven after that if a newcomer come here I just got eight and so forth okay so this is, is all the story here uh, just make these two files and make them empty so if we just go to this file we cannot see anything here uh, okay as I mentioned before go to uh, make a new PHP file okay this is visitor counter PHP and we just defined uh, those uh, two files IPs list and counter file where we gonna increment the counter first thing we gonna take the IP so uh, there's a, a, a defined variable in the server called remote address so just put this and give it to an IPs and define a current count to just keep track with a counter okay and give it a value of zero so we gotta check if this file is exist for this kind of file we just gonna get all the content of this file okay we just gonna get all the content of this file and we gotta assign this to the current count okay after that we just gonna uh, put the IP and the time that this uh, visitor has visited our website okay and we just put file append because we just want to append a new line after a new line after a new line okay and after that we need to also to save the value of counter in our website uh, for our website in the this file counter file which is counter file here and we just put plus plus for the counter count for the current count and we just increment each time this customer uh, you know visit our website and after that we just echo and print it out the, the the result for the current count on the screen so if you go to the Firefox 
and we have this visitor capture so if you reload it we got page not found uh, because basically we changed uh, this was oh try with this um, and this old man try with this refresh this okay no problem uh, all the time I uh, I spell visitor uh, in a wrong way but anyway so let me just change this okay and let me just go to the local host uh, okay we got a lot of projects here so visitor counter okay and here we got visitor counter to PHP so we got one okay so this time we got one so try to refresh it reload it we got two after that we got three and so forth every time you just refresh reload the page you just increment the uh, you know the, the 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 counter by one so this is not unique this is not unique counting process so if you wanna see what is the how is that happened you go to the file so here we go to the uh, to the counter file and we got five here and if you go to the IPs we store also the IPs and with the time so go to the IPs with the time you can see here we got one two seven zero zero and we just uh, print out the time here okay so in order to make this more readable if you try to uh, to open this with notepad plus plus you're gonna see one two seven and the time you know we got all these value in the same in the in the, in the same moment in the same time in the same uh, minute okay but if you go uh, right now to the website and try reload it okay you know just get 47 here so this is uh, good sometimes you want to track the IP sometimes you want to print out where is this IP came from what is the location for this IP so you can just uh, you know try do that okay anyway uh, this is not unique but a lot of websites use this way okay we have other unique way for uh, doing this and that way just basically uh, just add a, a, an if statement so just add an if statement to the counter uh, PHP here so because we have uh, we just put this condition and if the, just this file exists and just we get the value from this and just we append uh, and we increment the counter so in order to make this unique uh, we already implemented that in the visitor counter uh, underscore u here we just added additional if statement here if in array okay if in array for this file we just get this file and with the, this format so you know IB is here is a, is a file and we just get this file IPs with this format okay and we use the function in array to convert and to check whether this IB is exist in this file or not so if this array is exist in this file will return true okay but if this array if this IP okay we're looking for we obtained it from here if this IP is exist in our list okay if this IP is exist in our list we're not gonna do anything so we just go here and continue but if this IP is not in our list that means this IP is unique okay we're just gonna go inside the if statement and do this what we're gonna do here we just as the previous tutorial but we're not gonna do 
uh, save the time okay we just wanna uh, put the IPs for put the the contents uh, right to the file the IPs the IPs file I just wanna write IP with a new line and we just wanna uh, file a pin okay we just print this and after that we got a new value we just append it to the old value each time we just go a new line and every time we just as the previous tutorial we just uh, make just an addition and save this addition increment to our file character file so if you try to run this that uh, go to visitor counter project and we have visitor counter u so we have got we got value of one because this is the first time okay but if we try to refresh it we got nothing because this value is already exist and we're not gonna show it again okay but if a new customer or newcomer to this website uh, come again we're gonna show it up on the screen you know so this is basically what we have done here uh, I hope you benefit from this and and just thank you for watching here's Ahmed Nasser and see you in other tutorial I appreciate you watching